Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker and members, the uh, 0179 amendment uh, brings forward uh, some security and integrity to our election processes here in Minnesota. As you know, uh, there's, a, there's a boatload of election provisions in this state government bill. Um, many of them uh, make it much, much easier for people to vote and uh, also increase the likelihood that they have the opportunity to cheat. Uh, because we don't build safeguards into it. Um, the 0179 amendment, Madam Speaker, is an amendment uh, to bring forward photo ID, uh, photo ID requirement to vote here in Minnesota and provisional ballots. So, um, Madam Speaker, uh, there are 36 states in our country, 36. That means 14 that do not, 36 states that require some form of ID to vote. Minnesota does not. As a matter of fact, uh, there are 16 states, Madam Speaker, that require a photo ID to vote. Uh, this would be one of, make Minnesota one of those. Wisconsin is a photo ID state and uh, South Dakota to our west has ID requirements in their election laws as well. Um, so additionally, Madam Speaker, there's a provisional ballot component to the amendment. Uh, members, Madam Speaker, there are three states in this country that do not have provisional ballots. 47 do. Minnesota's within the three. Provisional ballots members would make it so that uh, if somebody doesn't have the proper identification and doesn't isn't uh, properly uh, registered or registerable to vote uh, prior to the election, they can still vote on election day and then they can come back during the week following in order to uh, make certain that their, uh, their uh, eligibility is validated with the local county auditor and their vote can be counted. Um, we have had this uh, discussion in the past, Madam Speaker, uh, members, uh, but there's no more important time than now. Uh, Madam Speaker and members, it was a year ago today that uh, I was in discussion after being called uh, by some constituents actually uh, in Representative Noor's district in Minneapolis. And uh, they called me and told me about uh, voter fraud uh, that was taking place in 2018. So this is a 2020 cycle, uh, Madam Speaker, about a year ago today, uh, telling me about 2018 and uh, how people were paid to vote to go to the polls uh, told me about a bunch of things that were very alarming. Um, and of course, I had uh, in the past been involved in discussion with the FBI um, about uh, some of the uh, fraudulent behaviors of a, a federal lawmaker from that same area. And as a matter of fact, um, Madam Speaker, as we moved into the 2020 primary election, actually, uh, what we saw was um, a very uh, a very large display of widespread fraud going on in Ward 6 in Minneapolis. And um, uh, one of the candidates, or 13 candidates in the race, a special, a special city council race, uh, there were 13 candidates in the race. And uh, one of them, uh, a gal who was running, um, actually uh, shared on Facebook a story of how uh, she had a campaign worker that was uh, taking people to the polls, which is a perfectly uh, normal behavior and legal one. And uh, on the way to the polls, uh, somebody uh, in the van said, uh, pull over, we want our $200. And uh, the campaign worker called the candidate back, Madam Speaker, and asked the candidate, uh, what are we gonna do, what is this? And the, the candidate says, turn around, take them home. We are not participating in this fraud. I understand this is going on in your area and we need to stop it. As a matter of fact, members, Madam Speaker, uh, there are a bunch of patriots. I met with uh, some of the friends that I, I met in Representative Noor's district as they explained the widespread fraud that was going on in the district. As a matter of fact, Madam Speaker, a week later, uh, there was another video that uh, was given to me uh, and I also gave it to Project Veritas, which I had asked to come into the state 
uh, because of all of the things that I was learning and my lack of trust in the FBI to actually get to the bottom of the voter fraud that happened in 2018 and that was now emerging in the year 2020. And uh, uh, the video that was given to me uh, was by a young patriot uh, gal from, um, from Representative Norris District who captured uh, in a video uh, a variety of uh, a series of Snapchat episodes by one of the competitors, Madam Speaker, of the gal that I just mentioned, the gal who wanted to clean up our elections so that we don't have fraud going on. Uh, this guy um, made a uh, self-indicting video uh, where he had 300 absentee ballots in his car. Uh, the video is there. The ballots are very easy to see. They are unopened. And he shared with us how he collected 300 of them just in one day's work. And everyone filled out for his brother, Madam Speaker. Everyone was filled out for his brother who was running as one of the 13 candidates for the city council race in the city of Minneapolis. Members, this is what is going on in the state of Minnesota. If we continue to deny the fraud that is happening uh, because our election laws are so weak and so loose and continuing to be loosened uh, by our Secretary of State uh, over the last year, that I'll talk about on, on third reading, Madam Speaker, uh, but if we continue to deny reality and don't bring forward some controls, some uh, integrity, uh, that we can prove that people are who they say they are, and we need to make it uh, easy to vote, but difficult to cheat. We're missing the final part in Minnesota. The difficult to cheat part, Madam Speaker, is missing. And Madam Speaker, members, the amendment that I brought today is the type of language that we need to bring and introduce in a bill like the one we have before us. Now, I know that the majority is not going to accept this. As a matter of fact, I think the Senate is bringing components similar to what I have in this amendment here today. Um, but Madam Speaker and members, I wanted to bring this forward for you to contemplate. As many of us know, uh, certainly uh, Republicans are very aware of the fraud that's going on in this state. We have Democrats in denial, even when it's going on in, in Representative Norr's district in the middle of Minneapolis, where, Madam Speaker, I'm, I still have not met a Republican elected official from the city of Minneapolis. And that was the Democrats disenfranchising elderly, illiterate people, voters, many and most of them Somali American voters who wanted to only vote here in Minnesota, stealing their votes from them and then bragging about it and what a good job he was doing in his campaign for his brother, Madam Speaker, who won the election in the city council race in Ward 6 in Minneapolis. That's what we have going on. We have disenfranchising of people by individuals that want to go and scoop up votes and take them away from them, steal them from innocent people who only want to participate in our elections, ballot harvesting, which is illegal in our state. I reported it to the FBI. I shared it with the FBI. Madam Speaker, point of parliamentary God inquiry. Help us, God help us. We uh, Representative Doubt for State Department Parliamentary Inquiry. Yeah, thank you, Madam Speaker. And Representative Dreskowski, I'm very sorry to interrupt, but uh, it appears that uh, you might be speaking to the wrong amendment. Um, we're on 179, which in my book has to do with voter ID, and I think you're maybe speaking to 180, which is the provisional balloting. Um, so I just uh, wanted to bring that to his attention. I think, we're, I think he's speaking to the wrong amendment. Well, Madam Speaker, Members, Representative Drazkowski, we're on the A79 amendment. Representative we are, Drazkowski. Madam Speaker, and I'll bring your and Representative Doubt's attention to that. 0179, the apologies. The, eight, the 0179 amendment has provisional balloting on the second half of the amendment if uh, you read it in, in full, Madam Speaker. So, Madam Speaker, uh, I'm sorry I was interrupted. Uh, I was on a roll. Um, <laughs> but the reality is we need to deal 
with election integrity issues in this state. These are the types of things that we need to bring forward and entertain. Um, we've got a lot of really ridiculous items for election uh, related changes in this bill, items that are gonna make it easier to cheat, make it less secure. We need to bring amendments like the one we have before us. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you, Madam. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you, members. And uh, with that, I withdraw my amendment.